Hello and welcome to Coco Styling. My name is Micah and today we will be talking about clear spring examples. You might be a bit confused if you haven't seen my latest videos on color, so I will insert a card somewhere in this video linking it to my color playlist. If you're interested in learning more about color and styling, make sure you subscribe and that you turn on your notification bell. And if you want to skip all of this process, you can hire me to be your personal stylist at kokostyling.com. One of my services being making custom color charts for my clients. And if you already know your season, you can also get my downloadable color palettes. I do need to give a little disclaimer since I don't actually know these celebrities and haven't seen them in real life. I will be using pictures from the internet, but since they are public figures, Sometimes they do manipulate lighting in order for them to look better in some colors. So if by any chance I cross-reference some other pictures and my opinion changes, the update will be on my blog at mycolumstan.com. So now let's start with my examples. First we have Laura Harrier. Let's take a look at her characteristics. She has a brown skin tone and her overall undertone would be warm or neutral warm. She does have a lot of red in her, which is why she can handle some cooler colors a lot better than other types. She also has dark brown eyes and very dark brown hair. Now let's talk about her colors. Hue or temperature. For the temperature, she looks great in warm colors, but she can also rock a lot of cooler colors. However, they shouldn't be extremely warm nor overly cool, because going to the extremes might take away from her coloring. Value Most of her colors would be moderate, not too light, nor too dark. But if you look at her contrast level, you will notice that both her eyes and hair make a lot of contrast with her skin, making her slightly a dark type, so her palette would include some dark warm colors too. Chroma I would say her saturation level is bright, but she can also wear some colors that are slightly bright and some colors that are very bright, especially when she has darker skin. But going to the bright extremes might not always work, especially if it's a very warm color or a very cool color. If you see her in this orange blazer, it competes with her features and that makes her look a little bit grey. Now let's take a look at Laura's outfits. First, we have red. She looks great in red. I would say true red and warm reds are ideal. Earthier reds like terracotta work as well. Now we have orange. Since her overall undertone is neutral warm, neon orange can be too much as we saw before, but bright oranges work as long as they are not neon. If you have a similar coloring to Laura, another option would be going for softer oranges like peach or something that is a little bit darker. Now we have yellow. Just like orange, some yellows can be too much, because they are extremely warm. But I see that some light yellows look really really good, and some other yellows that are more like true yellow or something that has a little bit of green also works amazingly. But if it's a dusty yellow, it might grey hair out like the first picture. Now we have green. Just like red, it can be warmer or cooler because they are neutral colors in the color wheel. Since Laura has both warm and cool features, she can wear lots of greens. In this case, I would pay more attention to the intensity and saturation level of the green. For example, spring green would be better than earthy green. Blue. blue blues that have a little bit of green in them are great. Lighter blues also look good, but I feel like they're not the greatest color. Purple and pink. Bright pinks and purples look great on Laura. They can be lighter or darker. Since she does have some warm and cool in her, she looks good in both cool and warm purples and pinks. With the last dress, the color looks great. However, I would say the print isn't ideal. Neutrals. I would say Laura looks great in a lot of neutrals both cool and warm. 
Since her features are both clear and dark, neither black or white overwhelm her. And she also looks good in ivory and cream. Brown. Brown isn't always the best option for clear springs if you want a bolder look. Because even if the color works, sometimes it doesn't give you the contrast that you need. But in here, you will be able to see that Laura looks good in both gold and brown. I wasn't able to find that many pictures of her in grey, but I feel like warm greys look great. And silver works as well, because it's shiny and bright. Moving on, we have Jackie Aina. Let's look at Jackie's characteristics. She has dark brown skin and a warm undertone. Her eyes are black and her hair is dark brown. Now we have her colors. For temperature, we have very warm. She looks amazing in all sorts of warm colors. She can even go to the extremes of warmth without any issues. Bali. Her colors would be in the middle, but she can lean towards the lighter or the darker colors. She can also wear black without getting overwhelmed because of how clear her features are and because she also has darker hair and darker eyes. Chroma. I would say Jackie is as bright as Clear Springs come. She can wear the brightest neon colors and she won't look off. They would completely match her color intensity. Now let's look at Jackie's outfits. First, we have red. She looks great in red, both orange reds and neutral true reds. And they can be as bright as she wants. Orange. Since Jackie is very warm and very bright, all sorts of oranges work. They can be lighter, darker or very bright, they won't clash with her image. Yellow. Just like orange, she looks good in a lot of yellows. However, as you can see in the picture in the middle, they shouldn't be muted because that can clash a little bit with her colors. Moving to the next slide, you can see that her yellows should be saturated, whether they are light, medium or dark. Now we have green. Springs look great in green. Jackie's greens can be lighter or darker and even slightly muted, but they can also be extremely bright, or just bright, and they will look amazing on her. Blue. Clear springs can wear some cool colors as well because of how bright they are, but they should keep in mind that because blue is basically the coolest color there is, it must be saturated. It can be light or dark, but they shouldn't be muted at all. You can see that both the dress in the middle and her outfit on the right harmonize with her a lot more than the outfit on the left, even if it's just a little bit muted. Let's move to purple and pink. Warm pinks that have an orange base will work extremely well, but that doesn't mean that cooler or brighter pinks and purples don't work as well. Neutrals. Pure white looks very good on her because of how clear she is, but warmer whites just take her beauty to another level. Creams and beiges work as well, but since she is so warm, they shouldn't be muted. Since Jackie is so warm, brown and gold look like they were made for her. Bronze is also such a great option, it looks magical. And finally we have silver and grey. I wouldn't say Jackie looks bad in them, but since she is so warm, gold and bronze are so much better and silver can make her look a little bit yellow. Now we have Kerry Washington. Let's take a look at her characteristics. She has brown skin and a neutral warm undertone. Her eyes are very dark brown and her hair is dark brown. Sometimes she also has black hair. For hue or temperature, I would say Kerry is very controversial in color analysis because she gets photographed in so many different lightings, it gets confusing. Gathering as many pictures as I could, I determined that she is indeed warmer, but not extremely warm, meaning that her best colors would be neutral warm and even slightly warm, but they shouldn't be extremely warm because they will gray her out. Bali. Since she has very dark features, her colors can be slightly dark, but not a lot. If you see these two pictures, in one, she looks great in black, she still needs some bright elements to pull everything together. But in the second one, she has a muted yellow dress that isn't ideal and then she also has a cool dark lipstick and those colors just completely told her complexion. 
Chroma. I would say her chroma is slightly bright. Overly bright colors will overwhelm her features. She can even try some slightly muted colors, but again, not a lot of them because they can gray her out and they should also be warm. Moving to the outfits, again, we have red first. She can wear lots of true reds, warm reds and darker reds, even sometimes slightly muted reds. Orange. Orange is a very warm color, so it gets tricky. Remember that she is neutral warm. The oranges in this slide look great. A true orange that isn't too bright, an orange that is slightly brighter, but it's also more on the red side, and a light peach that looks amazing on her. Now let's look at the next slide, and you can definitely see the difference on how different oranges interact with her colors. So, the first two, they are both bright, but one is a little bit more red and the other one is a true orange, but it looks like it's too bright for her. The red orange is much better. And the last two, they're both oranges that are a little bit more yellow, but one is darker and the other one is lighter. I feel like the darker one makes her pop. Even if the lighter one doesn't look terrible, it does gray her out a bit. This is when you're able to see that sometimes, even if you have the theory, you really have to try those colors out in order to know if they work or not. Yellow. Just like orange, yellow is tricky. However, yellow is a lot more lenient than orange. Yellow can be very warm for Carrie on some occasions, but the fabric also plays a big part in this. I would say that for her, the key is going a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Even going for yellows that are a little bit muted can work. Green. Again. Green looks great on springs, and you can see that she can go lighter or darker, whether they are true greens, greens that are a little bit more yellow, or greens that are a little bit more blue. Again, like I said before with Jackie, if you're a clear spring and you want to wear blue, it can be light or dark, but it should be saturated, not muted. You can see that the first two pictures look much better. Her blues can also lean towards the green side, but going for the blues with a bit of purple in them can make the look too cool for her, even if she is neutral warm. Purple and pink. Carrie just looks lovely in bright pink and purples. They can also be slightly bright or very bright. If your colors are similar to Carrie, when going for something like a pastel pink, since pastels are more muted, you should go for something a little bit warmer something that is more on the peachy side than on the cool pink side. And now with purple, they look great on the hair and again, they just need to be saturated because they are a cool color. Warm neutrals like cream, beige and ivory look great on the hair. But you can see that black works as well. Like I said before, if you have a similar coloring to Carrie, wearing dark and cool colors around your face can gray you out. When wearing black, you might want to add some bright elements to balance everything out. Both brown and gold look amazing on Carrie. And softer golds that aren't too warm, like champagne, look magical on her. Some grays can be too cool on her, especially when she's darker. They can make her look a little bit too yellow in comparison to the color. Warm grays, like grayish, are a much better option. Silver works too, and it doesn't look bad, but gold looks so much better on her. Something else that I have noticed with Carrie is that when she wears small silver accents, it looks amazing as well. When she pairs it with black or brighter and warmer colors, it makes it work perfectly. And finally, to end this video, for those of you who haven't seen me yet, this is me, and let's look at my characteristics. I have a dark skin tone and a warm undertone. My eyes are dark brown and my hair is dark brown, sometimes black brown. Let's talk about how I choose my colors. So, for hue or temperature, I go for colors that are warm or neutral warm. Because I have a warm yellow undertone, it's in the middle. It's not very warm like golden, nor neutral warm like peach. For value, my colors are not too light nor too dark, however, I can go slightly dark. I have dark brown eyes and dark brown hair. My hair color does change with sun exposure. Many of you who live in warmer climates can identify. 
so when my hair is darker, black can work. I might have to pair it with brighter colors, unless I'm going for a more pampy look, which I actually love. And that's why I feel like it's important to know the rules of styling. You will know how garments interact with your features, and that's how you know how to break the rules. And finally, we have chroma. I have a bright saturation level, so I can wear bright colors, but neon doesn't always work for me, unless I tan. I don't love taking pictures, and I also don't want to make this video super long, so I'm only going to do the three primary colors on myself. First, we have red. Red looks great, I love red, it's one of my favorite colors to wear. It can be darker or just true red, but it shouldn't be muted. Then we have yellow, which is actually... Yellow used to be my least favorite color. I hated it, until I realized that it's actually one of my best colors, and now it's my favorite color, after pink. I don't wear pink, because it doesn't look good, but I love yellow. Even my phone case is yellow. I bought a yellow color because I thought it looked cool with my clothes. I usually do bright yellows, neon yellows on summer, but I also do yellows that are a little bit more on the mustard side, because I feel like they look really good. And finally, we have blue. Like I said before on the other examples, blue must be saturated in order for it to work. I don't think it's one of my best colors, especially if you compare it to the reds and yellows, but if it's bright enough, it can work. Also, fun fact, this is my favorite sweater. In real life, it's not my best color at all, but I love dinosaurs and out of all of the dinosaur sweaters that I own, this is the one that I like the most, so I'm not getting rid of it, and I wear it in my house <laughs> when nobody's watching that I'm not wearing my best colors. This was everything for today. I do apologize for uploading later than promised. Pinterest banned my account, apparently for spammy behavior, which would be pinning too much. <laughs> and I had to create a whole new account and start all over again. But I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you see how color interacts with different features on different people, even if they share a season. And if you liked my video, you can like, subscribe, and share it if you found it interesting. Don't forget that next week is clear winter week, so if that's your season, make sure that you turn on your notification bell. And again, if you want me to make you a custom color chart, you can go to kokostyling.com and book me as your personal stylist. As always, if you finished this video, leave me a flower, but also, since my Pinterest account got deleted, please leave me your style, muses, and inspiration on the comments so I can look them up and add them to my boards. Have a nice day, and I hope to see you soon.